Okay, I was working on my script console for a uh, game I'm going to be working on soon, and I wanted to use some of my GUI, and I'm writing this game with one of my, a different programmer as well, and he likes code blocks. And so I converted over to code blocks, and then I tried converting my GUI over, and it didn't work for some reason, and so I decided just to rewrite it instead of working on getting it to work because I wanted to add some stuff. And right now I just got the button done, but the cool thing that I wanted to kind of uh, show is that, where's my main? This is just a test main, and it's just a button. You can, it runs a script if you want it to. You can set it so you can just hard code it and see, but basically it'll run a script when you click it. So let's just build and run here. Da, 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 da. Okay, well here's the button, and I just quickly made it, and basically, if you click it, okay, you better work now. See, if you click it, it runs a script, which basically, my script is just printing that out, and then if I go and edit the script, which I'll show you in a second, I already have the script up. And I can just edit my Lua script. And if I save this, and I come over here and I build and run this. Wait, let's get it to where you can see it. It's kind of slow right now because of the screen recorder, but yep, this works. I can click it and it'll run. It runs a script when you click it, basically. And yep, that's how that works. And basically, I'll, it's really it was really simple to implement. Is all I had to do is for the thing, it takes a parameter, the the Lua script parameter, and basically it sets the the script equal the script string equal to that. And when I update it. If the Lua update, which you can set to false if you want, if it's clicked, if you clicked the button, and I checked to see if the item active is less than one, so you can't click it. Like if you hold the mouse, otherwise you click like 50 billion times. And well, so I said equal to two after I do it. So basically, I just call my Lua manager, and I tell it to do file, which is basically a wrapper around Lua l do file, I think, and I just do file the script. That's all I do. Yep. And then the hardest part for me was, well, I, I did this on my other one too, but the hardest part was figuring out how to center the text. And you have to set the center of the text or set origin for SFML2. And you basically have to find the center of the rectangle of the text to set the origin so that when you set it to the center of the rectangle, you're actually setting the center of the text to the center of the rectangle so it's not offset which is kind of confusing, but yeah. All right.